Alrighty, so we have some good news coming out of Marineland during these uh, pretty boring and dark times. Uh, nonetheless, I'm super excited. One of our friends in Discord had messaged Marineland asking if there was anything new for the 2020 season, and they actually responded. <laughs> they responded with, thank you for your Facebook message and your interest in Marineland. New for 2020, penguins. Get up close to and learn about these popular aquatic birds. We are also adding two new rides. However, we do not have an opening date as of yet. Have a great day. And then they tried to ask if these two new rides were flat rides or coasters. And uh, they just said we will be making an announcement about these rides shortly. Um, so, yeah, it looks like two new rides are coming and a penguin encounter to Marineland. Um, we know that when the owner passed away, the wife took over. And when we were at Marineland this past summer, um, we got to talk to a couple of people that actually work at the park. And from what we were being told... Uh, the new wife, the, sorry, not the new wife, the wife, the new owner, um, has a, an extreme interest in running this park, and she has an extreme interest in actually putting investments into the park. So we were told that the husband was actually like a cheapskate um, and didn't like investing in the park unless he could earn that money. So he would never spend a dollar that he didn't earn in the park. And from what we know, the new wife, again, the wife of the new owner, um, has an extreme interest in taking out loans and actually investing in the park to grow it to a much better state. So this is exciting news. We know that Marineland is going to be getting investments. Um, I wasn't expecting investments this soon. They just built a really awesome and well-themed water park addition called Polar Splash. Um, and it actually looks stunning. <laughs> to be honest, it's prettier than uh, even Canada's Wonderland's water park. And um, we know that the topple tower was being removed and that it was going to be replaced. So I was expecting a flat ride in 2020 or 2021. I wasn't expecting two new rides. Now, this is where it gets interesting. So they just added a kitty expansion for the 2019 season. Um, I don't know the direction that the wife or the new owner is going to go down. So this is where it gets interesting. Are they going to add thrill rides on top of family rides or are they just going to strictly go down the family route and be that family tourist destination? Um, I don't know what her investors are telling or sorry, her financial advisor is telling her. I know that she has a partner that she hired a financial advisor to help, um, run the park and help, uh, create, uh, turn this park into something different. So I don't know what he's telling her or if he has any experience in the amusement industry. So it's really difficult for me to sit here and make predictions. What I would love to see for 2020, but it's most likely not going to happen is either a, um, 40 free spin or a Raptor coaster, because those are two somewhat cheaper coaster editions, and a kitty ride. So we know it might be two rides coming. I would like to see them build that kind of like thrill ride that sets them um, in stone and something that Wonderland can't offer. So we know that Marineland can't build a B&M coaster. We know they can't build any world records. So build that unique attraction that Canada's Wonderland isn't going to build that'll draw people even from the New York area, across the border, and the Toronto area to your park. That's what I would like to see. And I'm hoping the financial advisor is kind of giving some similar advice. Hopefully they have some sort of experience in the amusement industry or any knowledge or did any research. Those two attractions would do extremely well at this park. And we know the 40 free spin it has gone viral a couple times on the internet in terms of drawing guests in. So that kind of attraction could do Marine Land a lot of good. And a Raptor could also do them a lot of good. And they're, uh, I think they're like $5 million approximately. Correct me if I'm wrong at all down below. And a 40 free spin is about $7 million um, approximately. Both I could see Marineland affording along with a kitty flat ride um, and then the penguin encounter. So it'd be a really big year um, investment wise. What it's most likely going to be is a thrilling flat ride and a kitty flat ride. I do hope that in the next two to three years, Marineland does have a coaster coming. I Again, there are rumors and the park staff have been talking that the wife is very interested in running this park and pouring a lot of money into it. So there's lots of good things coming. I will say I loved this park. Um, we really wished we got season passes last year. We will be getting season passes this year. It's just a really fun, unique park. Again, it's nothing in comparison to Canada's Wonderland. But it's a nice, refreshing kind of like sip of wine, I guess. Um, I really liked the coaster and I really liked a couple of their older flat rides as well. And it was just like a nice environment all around, despite all the walking. So I really do enjoy this park. Again, uh, the new wife definitely has 
some really awesome visions to the park. I like that what she's doing with the animals as well. You can tell that she has a really good head on her shoulders. So I expect some really awesome things from Marine Land. Comment down below what you guys think Marine Land could be getting for the 2020 season um, and what you see, uh, what you think they could be getting for 2021, 2022 as well. This is definitely going to be a park I have my eyes on. I wasn't expecting um, anyone in that family to show interest in running the park. I was ultimately expecting them to sell it off. So I'm quite surprised, um, but I have to say pleasantly surprised. And I look forward to seeing what Marineland has to announce in the coming days, weeks, or months, whenever they choose to announce it. Anyways, hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't, and share this video for others to enjoy. Have a good one, guys. Bye.